Okay, well, it is now um, officially, I guess, March 10th. A um, little after midnight. So I was up. I thought I would do a little recap of kind of what I've been doing for the last few months. And um, one thing, I wish I could be, get out there and work in the building a little bit more, but it's been raining, the wind has been blowing, the temperatures are warmer, I'm glad to see that. The daffodils are starting to bloom, so that's a good sign. Um, but for the most part, uh, this past year, it's really been quite something. And some of you, if you haven't reached it yet, or maybe some of you have, menopause. That is one thing I have been going through for the... Last year, I thought I was over it. And then, lo and behold, out of the blue, here it comes again. And I'm, I'm one of those people that have always had just horrible, horrible pain. Every single month, like childbirth pain. That lasts days. And, but, you know, you deal with it. But then, finally, towards the end of the year, it just been about... Heck, I guess right now it's been about a year. Haven't had nothing since. But boy, has a lot of things happened. Now the hot flashes, I never did get that. Didn't have a problem with that at all. But other things started, my sleeping habits, all over the place. Um, but then I know my hair. Okay, my hair. I swear in this past year, I have lost five inches off my hair. All of a sudden, my hair will get really dry. And apparently, it's breaking off. You'll go to bed one night, and your hair is long. You wake up, you got bangs. Never had bangs. Woke up, I swear to God, the front of my hair was up to here. Where it went, I don't know. Did mice come and eat it in the middle of the night? It just disappeared. So, it has changed my hair, and it can take five inches off my hair, but it cannot take five inches off this fluffing stuff I'm carrying around all the time. Are you kidding me? So, yeah, weight gain. So, that's one thing I'm dealing with, but I think the worst of it all, I've always been one of these people that, pretty constant when it comes to bowel movements. You know, food in, food out. Not a problem. Not an issue until the last few months. So miserable, you almost don't want to sit down. And at first, I thought it was hemorrhoids. That's another thing, hemorrhoids. I'm a person, carry around 50, 75 pounds, throw on my shoulder, walk around, no big deal. All of a sudden, anytime I left anything, here, here come the hemorrhoids. I never even had hemorrhoids when I was pregnant. Now I've got hemorrhoids, and I mean, now I know what people are talking about because they are a pain in the ass, and take it anyway, they literally are a pain in the ass. So I gotta watch out for that, but here, you know, with the bowel movements, I don't know, did something get stretched out, or something crazy has happened, because I was just straining and straining a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, I mean, I always kept going, but my God, it was like, it's, it's just stuck. So I'm like, this is terrible. So I called up my mother. I'm like, I don't know if you ever had problems like this when you went through menopause, but something's changed. I'm telling you what, it has done something to my ass. And so I decided I went ahead. I got some yogurt, the regular yogurt, none of this non-fat stuff because that just doesn't work. Made me up some kimchi, and I thought for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and put myself on some wormwood for a week, just in case I've got some kind of parasite thing going on, and because I deal with ducks and chickens and dogs and cats and water dragons and exotic birds, and so I went through that, and I can honestly say now, I don't know what it may be, I had parasites, maybe in balance somewhere somehow irritable bowel syndrome who knows what has happened but at least i am glad to report it has been like a month now and i think i am back to normal so maybe a little good bacteria in the gut get things a little bit more 
situated out. Who knows? But I'm really going to have to watch that. Um, but thought I'd check in with you. And, and then this coronavirus thing, you know, that's been going on here. And I'm sure you saw me the other day. I had my mask on, but it was construction. Nothing with coronavirus. But it's a thing that I'm sure that's been on everybody's mind. And, you know, I don't get out a lot. A lot of what I do is around here. And so, yeah, and I'm, I'm really not at any high risk when it comes to that. But, you know, if I ever got out and about, yeah, I'd be cautious and be cautious of who I was around. And then, you know, it just frustrates me because you've got these people out here normally if they would have the colder flu in one i'm one that i do not get the flu shot and i don't get the flu i just i just don't get it and but they get out here and normally if they had the cold and flu they'd be in bed sick oh my gosh i feel sick da, da, da. And, or people just stay away from me because i don't want to if you're sick i don't want to get sick with this thing i don't know people have lost their minds it's like you ain't gonna tell me what i can or cannot do if i want to go here and if i want to go there let's take a cruise you know um, I don't know. It's just maddening. So, but anyway, it's been on my mind. And then these people come a few days ago. Don't really get visitors here. <laughs> this couple comes about twilight up to the door and they have this little dog. And they said they had found this little dog down there on the road and wanted to know if it was mine. I was like, no cute little thing teeny tiny little thing it would kind of had long fluffy hair but it looked like a about the size of a little teeny tiny little chihuahua but you could tell the dog was an older dog it wasn't no puppy I said no and i don't really know anybody around here that has a little dog like that and it's a good thing they found it because coyotes have been really thick here lately and in the process this the guy i don't know boyfriend husband i don't know who he was um, asked if he could go around the other side of my van on the other side of the house and take a piss. I was like, sure, fine, go ahead. And he comes back around me and her sock and everything, and and he reaches out and he he was like, oh, thank you, and reaches out and shakes my hand, and didn't give it a second thought. I'm still talking to them about the little dog and everything. They get ready to go and he shakes my hand again. You know, thanks for your help, blah, blah, blah. And they leave. I get inside. And you're thinking, I don't know. You're probably thinking, oh my gosh, why'd you shake his hand? Because, you know, you don't know who these people are. You don't know where they've been. That was the last of my worries. As soon as I got in the house, I realized I had penis hands. That's what had happened. I had strange man penis hands on my hands because I seriously doubt that he cleaned his hands before he came back and not only shook my hand once, he shook my hand twice. So just keep it in mind here. You know, I'm usually always cautious, but oh no. Yeah. Little did I know at the moment, it was just like instinct. Yep. Shake the penis hand. So, yeah, watch yourselves because, you know, I guess you really don't think you shake people's hands, you give them a hug, and you just really, honest to God, don't know where they've been. So, I guess I'll get off here, and hopefully tomorrow we'll get back to building. Talk to you later. Bye.